Hey guys, welcome to week four. I just want to make a quick video and show you guys what you're going to be doing for this week. Um, soon Mabel's going to be updating this weekly plan. Make sure you're looking at the week four slide for the three assessments. It's going to be very similar to last week's. Um, you're going to do a charms recording, this time on line 61. So it's going to be pattern one on the A string, very similar to the last one, just on a different string. That should not take you too long if you did well on the first one. Uh, the next one, you're going to do another quiz on a, or I guess another concert review, this time on the Christmas concert. Same exact quiz, just different recordings. So have a listen and try to hear the differences in quality between the two recordings. And the last thing is going to be uh, this week four quiz on the composition and part writing. This quiz is going to be longer and the content on week four is longer than it was because we're dealing with harmonic construction. So the point of this quiz is to see how you're doing with your understanding of the concepts and framework. So if you take the quiz and it doesn't go well, you know, that means you probably want to watch the video again and try to understand some more of the concepts that you didn't quite get. Interval quality is very important because we don't want to have dissonant intervals. And a lot of mistakes that people made the last time was on the interval of a perfect fourth. We cannot use harmonic perfect fourths in, in, in uh, first species counterpoint. Melodic perfect fourths are fine. That means going from... Um, you know, horizontally, as the melody goes by, you can go from like C to F in your melody, that's fine, but you shouldn't have a C played against an F in the same interval. That is a dissonant interval. So make sure that you acknowledge that and you don't use that. Um, the formatting on, on this stuff is, is very important. Let's go into, into this assessment. Now, most people are doing a really good job formatting things to where I can read them. Okay, I don't want you guys to post music files because I can't read them. I can't just pull them up and look at them because I don't have uh, all that software. I have Sibelius. So if you post a music file like this one right here, I can't read that. So I'm just going to ask you to redo it. I also need you to post things um, going from left to right. This is very hard to read. And I, I can't really reorient it in this software. Like, i got to download all this other stuff. So make it easy for me and try to make it legible to where I can read it and try to make it to where it goes from left to right. Um, in fact, don't try. Just do it. Okay? we got the criteria up here for what we want. Now, for this week, you're going to be getting prescribed melodies for your section. So there's a melody that's been pre-composed to make it easier for you. And you write your harmony below the melody. I want the melody and the harmony to be on the same the same thing. So you got your melody here. I want the harmony to be on the same staff, preferably on the same staff this way. Um, if you want to add a bass clef or a, even a, the same clef and do it twice, you know, that's fine too. Uh, but I need to be able to see both the melody and the harmony at the same time. Now, if you didn't do well in the quiz, Again, go back and review the material before you start doing the harmony. Um, the, the last time we did the harmony, there was a lot of confusion, especially about what a dissonant interval is, you know, uh, parallel perfect intervals, all that stuff. So go back, watch the video, make sure you understand um, what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. And if you, if you didn't understand something, maybe go back again, take some notes, and, and you know, just kind of circle what you need to pay more attention to on the next time around. So anyway, um, hope everybody had a good Easter, and I will see you guys later.